to my channel so I don't know why exactly but I'm being called to do this reading and I don't even really know what it is to be honest um my guides just told me to like pull cards for the collective consciousness right now I guess and I'm just gonna I'm gonna listen and go with it and not question it I'm actually like feeling really sick today um so I didn't really want to do this reading, but they're telling me to do it, so I'm just going to do it, I guess, and just see what comes out. I think this is for, like, light workers and star seeds. Um, I think these cards wanted to come out. Too many cards, guys. <laughs> what are the messages for the collective consciousness? What are the messages? It's too many. I guess this one wants to come out. It keeps wanting to come out. What are the messages for the collective consciousness? Are there any more from this deck? Do I need to keep pulling? Yes, okay. Oh geez, okay, that's too many. Guys, it's too many, too many. Okay, that one wants to come out and this one wants to come out. Are there any more messages? anymore anymore no okay let's see here these two are in the reverse there's no reverse meanings for these, but I'm just going to interpret them on my own. There's a lot of cards here, and they made me take out three decks. <laughs> so, let's get into it, guys. <laughs> I don't really know what this is. I guess this is a collective read, is what they keep telling me. So, the same messages you need to hear today, or any time that you're drawn to watch this, because all my readings are pretty much timeless anymore. <laughs> Um, nine of winter, my perception on time is just like, whatever, it's man-made up. <laughs> nine of winter, unfound, unfounded fear, focusing on worst case scenarios, allowing worry to grow out of proportion to the problem. This has been me a lot lately, so I guess this really resonates because, um, yeah, I feel like there's, um, too much focusing on like the worst case scenario and like allowing your like ego worry mind to like grow out of proportion to the actual problem that exists. So like not even having it be realistic. So take note of that, like take control of it. It's so hard to do. Oh my God, I've been trying that. <laughs> it's so hard, but it's, it is doable. Eight of winter in reverse. This says you have what it takes. If only you believe in yourself. Thinking that you're powerless when you're not. A lack of self-confidence that keeps you from getting what you want. Okay. Yeah, this reading makes sense. So really like realizing your true power instead of like letting your ego mind make you think that you're not powerful. Like you really need to take back your power and your confidence and go after what it is that you want. Especially since this was in the reverse. What else do we have? This is interesting. Four of Autumn. Manage your resources wisely. Achieve a balance in how you spend and save money. Help out those who are less fortunate. 
So definitely be of service to those who are less fortunate, but still maintain balance in how much you spend and save. Okay. And we have like the masculine and feminine energies as well. So I feel like it's balancing those out too. I feel like we can manifest a lot with the moon. See how she's looking up to the moon here. So I feel like we really need to like call back our power and work with the moon is what I'm hearing. I love the moon. <laughs> and apparently the moon wants me to know that it loves me too. Cause it keeps telling me and reiterating that in all these cards. We have three, which I've been seeing everywhere. This is the Empress. So it says time to take action, the power of creativity, success that allows for a life of luxury. And I keep pulling this card in a lot of my readings that I've done. And this like really resonates with me. A lot of times like I procrastinate and I like put things off and I just kind of dwell in my mind too much. So um, I guess this is kind of like TMI, <laughs> but I'm bringing my own personal things I've been going through and through this reading in hopes that it relates to you and lets you know that like we're all human and we all experience the same kind of things and that um, it's time to take action now and use your power of creativity to kind of like release you from all the worries and your mind and know that success will um, follow through with this. You'll be able to maintain abundance from what you put out that's creative as well. We have the 10 of spring in reverse. This card kept wanting to come out. Um, ask for help from others. Okay. All work and no play. <laughs> Being weighed down by too many responsibilities. So it is important to ask for help, especially since this was in the reverse and I'm guilty of this too. Like I always feel guilty. Like when I ask for help, like with my daughter and stuff, because I am home all day with her and I don't get a break unless like my parents take her, my husband's parents take her, which fortunately they do. But like, I feel like it's really hard. And Sometimes I need to ask for help more and like take time for myself and like stop like weighing all these responsibilities on myself and just like do things that I enjoy because I feel like I don't do that enough. Like this is definitely what I enjoy. Like my passions are what I enjoy, but it's also my job. So it's important to have a healthy balance of both, like both your creativity, both your passions both your work life, both your home life, both like everything, like just bringing balance to everything and like asking for help where it's needed. And like, guys, like I have to be reminded of this. So hello, like these are messages for everyone to hear, I guess right now, not just me, but I just, I feel like putting a personal spin on it will help you guys realize like you're not alone in feeling these things, <laughs> I guess. Ace of spring in reverse. It's time to take action. Oh my gosh. Be fearly, fearless and happy. Well, I can't talk. It's time to take action. Be fearless and happily pursue your most treasured dreams. Amazing career opportunities. Okay, so since this was in the reverse, like I feel like a lot of you aren't taking action on what it is that you um, fear and what makes you happy. So it says be fearless and ha happily pursue your most treasured dreams. So really go after your dreams and like don't let fear hold you back because amazing career opportunities come from your biggest passions, which are your dreams. So don't let fear bind you. Fear is coming up in a lot of these cards. And I get it. Like I'm the same way. Like I get really scared sometimes like when it comes to embracing my passions and like what people will think of them but then I have to realize that like it doesn't matter it only matters like what makes me happy because if it makes me happy then I'm able to actually help more people by radiating my happiness and my higher vibrations out to them so I really have to like stop fear from holding me back I'm like teaching myself through this reading I guess that was the point of this um and to teach you I don't know this I'm just going with the flow guys <laughs> We have life experience in the upright. It says, let go of belief systems that no longer work for you. An important life-changing event. A situation that leads to significant opportunities. Wow. So we're really imprisoned by the mind, guys. And like, <laughs> I was just having this conversation with someone. This is so funny. But um, really let go of your belief systems that no longer serve you. There's an important life-changing event coming and a situation that's going to lead to significant opportunities ahead of you. That's really, like, exciting, guys. <laughs> really exciting. We have 10 of summer in the reverse. 
So this card says, an emotionally fulfilling life with family or friends, raising children wisely, people you can trust. So I feel like with this being in the reverse, like you're not living your most fulfilling life with your family or friends. So maybe like you're like me kind of, I've been kind of a hermit lately. Um, and I've been like really keeping to myself and like trying to gain like so much knowledge but then it like isolates me but I like the isolation at the same time it's really confusing it's something that I've been working through this year but I know that like whatever is meant to be will be so like there's a reason why I've been feeling this way and there's a reason that I've been put in the position to be this way and I feel like it's a lesson that I need to learn but I feel like a lot of you have been distancing distancing yourselves from family or friends and I feel like or even like children that you love so maybe like make a little bit more effort to um these are people that you can trust so make more effort to like spend time with them because in this man-made linear time life is short and you don't want to pass up opportunities but um you're know you're like fully deserving of this okay because this was in the reverse this is so weird this reading like this is in the reverse too this is ace of winter it says don't be deterred by challenges along the way it's important to communicate clearly and accurately amazing new ideas that should be Im implemented oh this really like <laughs> yeah so um yeah there can be lots of challenges along the way but don't let these like get you off of your path okay no it's important to communicate clearly and accurately with people communication is key like really open up and let people know how you're feeling and i know this is freaking scary but like the more you do it the better you'll be okay because then they understand where you're coming from okay Oh, I know there's a lot of fear attached to that. Like even I'm feeling that right now, but um, it's important to do this. And then it says amazing new ideas that should be implemented. So this was in the reverse. So I feel like you're not acting on these amazing ideas that you have. And like, even I've had these, like I have these amazing freaking songs that like I wrote and granted, I don't have the best singing voice, but like my sister does, <laughs> but um. I love writing music like I just I love lyrics I love tunes and melodies and I love writing songs and my songs are very very deep like they're based on like near-death experience I had and like just like so many like spiritual things that come to me like just portray themselves in song half the time and I've come up with so many freaking brilliant songs and I haven't like I've had the idea to like record them because I know people I have access to that like I could record them but like I know I don't have like the best voice but like even if someone who has like a good voice could use these songs and like make them into what I envision them to be as an artist like because that's what artists do like we just envision their full potential and like we don't settle for anything less and I feel like that kind of hinders us and holds us back but really like acting on these things like there's also like a project that I've been working on and like meaning to finish and I keep putting it off like for the right time that it feels right and that's okay like you can wait till the time that it feels right but don't let it pass you by like it's time to take action right now is what it's saying okay right yeah amazing new ideas that should be implemented so definitely implement these ideas no matter what fears are held on to them easier said than done but I believe that you can do it then we have the wheel here, okay? It says delays are over. <laughs> Sudden or unexpected good luck, a new car or travel. I've gotten this car with other readings too. That's so funny. So um, we've been feeling kind of stuck and delayed. And this is with our like passions and our pro passion projects too, but um, it's saying sudden or unexpected good luck. So things like working out for your, your, um, your good, things working out for your highest good, okay? And this is like sudden or unexpected good luck. So that's exciting. And this could be also like you're getting a new car or you're traveling more, which is good too. Um, and then we have this card, and this is uh, Two of Winter in the reverse. And it says, indecision is holding you back. <laughs> okay, spirit, I get it. <laughs> 
indecision is holding you back. Make the choice that's best for you rather than trying to please others. Feeling trapped between the intellectual and the emotional. Oh my lord. This is the... <laughs> I can't help but laugh because I was literally just like thinking about this stuff. <laughs> so it's good to know I'm not alone in thinking these things and you guys are too. Oh, Make a decision, guys. Make the choice that's best for you rather than trying to please other people. Your, your love, like your passion, your... Your happiness is more important than others, believe it or not. <laughs> and you're feeling trapped between the mind and the heart, like the intellectual and the emotional. But you know what's best for you, so you need to just make this decision. And it's so freaking hard, which is why it's in the reverse, because I can relate. <laughs> it's so freaking hard. Oh my lord, this is so funny. How many cards am I supposed to pull from this deck? This is the work you're like. These are the three decks I was told to like take out. Or it's the um, fairy tarot, the work you're like, and the notes from the universe on abundance. We'll just see what pops out, I guess. what we need to hear at this time. Oh. Okay. So, okay. We got Awakening and Anna, Grandmother of Jesus. And we have a third one over here. That'll be the surprise. Oh, and the bottom of the deck is trust the niggle, <laughs> which is that niggling feeling trying to tell you. What is that niggling feeling trying to tell you? What is your intuition trying to tell you? <laughs> so awakening, it says energetic upgrades, a new way of being integration. And this is so funny because like one of my spiritual friends um, wrote me today and said there's like tons of energetic upgrades going on today in particular but this will be for whenever you're watching this obviously because it's timeless but just know that also today is like a huge energetic upgrade you're probably feeling really drained and tired um, this is also a new way of being so maybe you watching this is triggering not maybe an awakening but just maybe a new way of you being a new way of you being a new way of being and you're integrating this now into your life. Okay. So, um, that's really cool. Then we have Anna, grandmother of Jesus. And it says, seeding the light. Seeding the light. Star seeds, light workers. Uh seeding the light. I love playing words like that. So seeding the light, laying foundations, your divine plan. It's really telling me through these cards that you really need to focus on integrating your passions into your career because this is what's you this is what's going to make you the most money and this is like what's going to help your soul grow. This is the divine plan of you being here. This is like your life's mission. Okay. And right now I feel like these energetic upgrades and new ways of being and integrating those things are seeding the light and helping you lay these foundations into your divine plan. See how flowy that goes like water, like how that's just like flowing like water, like, <laughs> and it's telling you to trust your intuition. And Right below that is star seeds. So I feel like a lot of you are star seeds or light workers. Like I know these are just labels, but these are like what's happening right now. Like a lot of us are waking up to our full potential and it's asking you what lights you up? What lights you up? What gets you so ignited like that you just have to act like you can't even say no because you're just so excited about it. Like what lights you up guys? 
what makes you excited. Like, it's also telling you to get grounded. So empaths, highly sensitive, light workers, star seeds, it's telling you to connect with nature and get grounded. And then it's also telling you to leap to leap because once you take this leap it says you go first the universe will catch you okay once you take this leap into your divine plan and what you're passionate about this will help you align your life what is no longer in alignment with who you truly are ask yourself that really like you will know because it says trust the niggle like what is the niggling feeling trying to tell you like you're never stuck you always have a choice like you have a higher mind as well. Like, even if you're in a situation that's not as favorable as you would like it to be, like, everything is there for a reason. Everything that is there to teach you something. And you're never stuck. You never have to stay in a specific place or a specific mindset, like, ever. It's also telling you to fill up your well, retreat, rest, and refuel during these energetic upgrades, these times, like, sleep on it. Sleep on what it is that you want and fill up your well. Like, treat yourself. Lots of self-care, um, resting, refueling. And know that this is the age of light, okay? You've been training for this for lifetimes. We just don't see it because we're in this 3D reality. Maybe some of you do. But, like, we are multidimensional beings. Like, we are everywhere. We are in each other as well. Like... And they, you guys are part of me. Like, so that's why these collective readings are so important. And I feel like we're all part of the Counselor, Council of Light and the Keepers of Earth. And we are this pillar of light. And it says, do something to lift your vibration. And stay devoted to who you truly are. Tune into the portal of your heart. Okay. So now I'm going to pull a final card from the messages um, from the universe on abundance. And this will be the end of the reading <laughs> for today. So like I said, I woke up with a sore throat and now that's gone and now my head's all fuzzy. But um, it's still kind of there like in the background. Oh, what did I just pull? Freaking mountain. I gotta like I gotta look at this because like there's snow on here and this is just like the dream I had the other day. Okay, it says so much more awaits you. Wow. Okay. So much more awaits you. There will come a day when you look back at where you've been and where you are now and call these your warm-up years. There's more love, more fun, more friends, more laughter, more thoughts, more things, more and more. Lots more and more. <laughs> You're so cute. The universe. Aw. Thank you, universe. But I always say this. I feel like I'm always going to look back on this time period when I'm having these, like, thoughts and feelings and emotions because we are the creators of our reality. Like, we create everything, okay? This is so important to, like, take control of your ego mind because we, if you work in what makes you happy, like, that's what you're going to attract. And I feel like we're going to look back at this time period and be like, uh, just like all the other times before. And it everything will fall into place, all the puzzle pieces, and it'll all make sense. Do I need to pull one more for the notes on abundance? Yes? Okay, I'll do that again. I hope this reading is helping you. I feel like it'll be healing for you to like know you're not alone, you know? And that we like all go through these things. <laughs> One more message. <laughs> This is the, oh, look, another freaking mountain. Why am I not surprised? <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> this is the one I was drawn to, so I had to pull it. Um, it says to find out how much you, okay, I can't talk. 
to find out how much you've truly been blessed with in terms of love, time, <laughs> time, energy, talent, joy, abundance, confidence, intelligence, wit, or any other quality, substance, or dispensation, give of it. Then you'll know what boundless really means. Tally ho, the universe. I hope you guys can read that. To find out how much you're, okay, why can't I read? To find out how much you've truly been blessed with in terms of love, time, energy, talent, joy, abundance, confidence, intelligence, wit, or any other quality, substance, or dispensation, give of it. Then you'll know what boundless really means. So give your, give your love, give your time, give your energy, give your talent, give your joy, give your abundance, give your confidence, give your intelligence, give your wit. And you'll receive it back. You'll know what it means to be boundless to your like your mind, your egoic mind. Wow. Tally ho, the universe. I love that. So much more awaits you. These are just your warm-up years. There's more and more and more coming through. So cool. Any more cards I need to pull? It's telling me to read this one. This is the last card. Uh that's like a hill, almost like a mountain. <laughs> it says the only economy that matters and can actually put money in your purse, your wallet, or the cracks of your sofa is the economy created by your thoughts, words, and actions. Every day, someone new near you becomes a millionaire. Next, the universe. Your thoughts are things, guys, your emotions. That's why it's so important. And your words and your actions. So it's so important to take control of these things. And it's really really letting you know that. So this is a great reminder because I, I really need like daily reminder of this like every day. Because as an empath, it can be like extremely difficult to take control of your feelings and your mind. But like know that it's also easy. If you say it's easy, it will be easy. And that's like the key to being free in, in all things. So I really hope this reading helped you guys. Like I said, I really wasn't <laughs> sure what I was doing, but now it makes sense. So thank you, Spirit. Thank you guys so much for watching and tuning in. And I really hope this helped you guys. Let me know in the comments below if anything resonated with you. If you're new, it's so nice to meet you. And I would love to have you as part of our family here. So please make sure you subscribe. Please hit that bell because like no one's been getting notifications and it's kind of sad. <laughs> I don't want you guys to miss out on my content because I have a lot more awesome things coming for you guys. I've been really like igniting my passions and digging in deep and like creating things for you. So yeah, definitely stay tuned. I love you. Um, more videos coming, more live streams, and yeah, just stay tuned because everything happens in divine timing. I love you all so very much. Have a blessed day. Have a blessed week. And until next time, I'll talk to you soon. Bye, guys. Stay well.